Hi, my name is Taylor and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is November 1st, which to a lot of people means it is now the start of Christmas and gift giving season. So today I am going to go over some things that I think would make really good crochet gifts for your friends and family. Um, I'm also going to include um, all of the links to anything I mentioned down below um, with a few caveats, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So um, if you are excited for this holiday season, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And let's hop into it. <laughs> so the first thing that is probably the easiest and takes up the least amount of time are coasters. Um, this pattern is by TL Yarn Crafts. Um, it will be linked below. Um, I made a lot of these with some leftover cotton, which is what I recommend making these with, because if you have coffee and you put a hot coffee on acrylic yarn, it will melt it. Um, and then some other crochet coasters that I found online were um, these ones that look like little pumpkin pies which I thought were really cute and this one that has little cat ears so coasters really don't take long at all to make um, and just like give someone a set of four I don't have like a whole category for this, but like pot holders, washcloths are pretty easy if you have like some leftover cotton. I found this one pattern for um, a pot holder that looks like an egg <laughs> that I thought was really, really fun. So, it's that one. Um, the next thing I put down was blankets, which I would caution you to only make for your most beloved friends and family. I have made two blankets so far for this holiday season and I have one more that I'm wanting to finish but I also can make a blanket relatively fast. Um, I don't really have any sort of specific pattern or anything for this but if you just like chain 110 and just double crochet the entire, as long as you want, you will eventually have a blanket. <laughs> um, Next are coffee cozies. Um, the two patterns I found for this one are really, really easy. One is just this, what is that, double crochet or single crochet. And then this other one is really cute. It's called the Country Cottage Cozy. Um, and I haven't made this, but <laughs> I want to. And they have one that's like um, a sleeve and then one that has like a bottom to it so it's more like a koozie type. Next, these ones are a little bit bigger and these are pay for patterns but I'm going to link the Etsy shop down below. Um, it's called One Stitch Wonders um, and I made this star pillow last year and she also has a pattern for a moon pillow as well and I do have that pattern I just haven't made it yet so like you just get some like chunky like woolies thick and quick and just like whip this up and I keep this on my bed and it's just really fun for that you know goth girlfriend in your life <laughs> um and then I have book holders um One Stitch Wonders also has really 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 good patterns for Book holders, I did pattern test for her one time. Very nice person and just like really well constructed and thought out patterns. Um, but then there are also just a lot that are like a granny square. Just throw up the photo there. Um, just a granny square and then you fold in the corners and it just kind of makes like an envelope. So that's pretty easy. Um, I put down amigurumi like plushies and stuff. I personally don't make plushies, but I do have this, I did find this one pattern that I really want to make. It's this bunny um, by Cozy Crochet by Tasha. I am going to purchase this. I have some blanket yarn lying around that I really would like to 
like make into these rabbits and then give as gifts this holiday season. Hats. Hats are so easy. This one is actually like one of those little cat ear hats. But like just chain 30 or 40 depending on how big around you need it or how long you want it to be and then just half double crochet back loop only all the way around and then cinch up the top or if you have a knitting machine and you just put it on tube and you go for like 125 rounds hats are super easy I made hats for literally everyone in my life last year everyone got a hat um, next I have bandanas. This is just a very easy granny stitch bandana made out of, um, Lion Brand True Boo yarn. So, that, that one's really easy. It's just, um, a granny square. Like, you start out with, like, a little triangle, and you just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and then the last thing I have is, um, market bags. So I have three kind of things I'm going to show you today. So I have this one that I got off of a pattern on Pinterest. And it's just like a little mini one. But it still would fit like a lot of stuff. Um, so like a little mini market bag. And then, um, next one is a YouTube tutorial for mesh bags that I have used. I've, I've, like, watched and used, made these bags before myself, and it's pretty good. Um, and I know that it's not, like, market season anymore, but it will be again next year, so. And then this last one is actually my own pattern that I plan on writing one up for and I call it kind of like the perfect beach bag um I know it looks kind of small on camera but it actually like expands a ton so I plan on hopefully releasing that pattern later this week I feel like that was a lot in a short period of time but sometimes short and sweet helps get the point across So yeah, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Um, let me know if you liked this kind of style. I enjoyed kind of like gathering up different ideas and I do plan on putting out a video for fiber artists to send to their friends and family that don't know what to get them for Christmas. So that'll probably be the next video I put out. Yeah, happy making this holiday season, and I will see you next time. Bye!